Hello and welcome to another episode. Today we are recovering data from this poor little SanDisk 64 gig uh, Extreme Plus that was uh, probably in like some action camera that was exposed to uh, some moisture and as a result of that corrosion started to build up uh, around the interface. The solution is uh, fairly simple. Interface is suffering doesn't connect to what it's supposed to be connected to how do we resolve this well the solution that I'm gonna use today is something that is my go-to uh, technique for working on cars that are exposed to water uh, and uh, have problems with the interface and that is attaching them directly to an adapter if uh, if you guys pay attention to this channel uh, you might have seen this similar procedure before but this is a new case and I wanted to demonstrate that work as well because uh, it seems that somebody already uh, tried to do something about it and maybe there is something that we'll find that was done with the device that affects it in a negative way or something that maybe doesn't even affect it at all but uh, this here is what the adapter looks like and it just converts to uh, regular SD card interface so let's inspect it and see what uh, what it has been exposed to best thing for it would be like a paper towel it's a bit heavier than uh, the wipe cloth that I use saturated a bit so that uh, the bristles from the fiberglass scratch pen don't get all over the mat it's very hard to get them from the mat and then splinters get in your hands it's just bad end so I have this platter here that I keep specifically for these purposes and last but not least a tiny piece of double-sided tape to hold it in place here is what we got to work with now this tool here is adjustable but I'm down to scraps with it and I probably needed to grab one from the shop I'll get that next time I'm there so we're just gonna go ahead and start brushing off the meeting points with the interface just because there is my mask there it may cover some of the damages and if uh, we don't notice them we can't assess them properly what can we tell? we can tell that um, power is damaged first let's remove the old wiring In this case specifically I had to run tiny jumpers in the past but uh, with our new case I don't think we're gonna need to do that. I think we got lucky and uh, those are still in good shape. We will need flux. Yeah, for, um, for the ground pad, I probably would dump a bit more solder on there just to uh, get 
power and ground are the two points that you really want to have solid connection on. I'm just gonna secure it like that. Um, okay, now we can actually try this out. Plug this in. Plug that in. So let's go ahead and open up uh, DeepSpar USB stabilizer control panel. Power on the device. Go to the log and voila, we got a 59.5 gig capacity recognized. Gonna refresh our screen here. We got a generic storage come up with the XFAT. And if we uh, go into view and edit to browse the structure real quick, sorry, to browse the hex content real quick, you can see that our device is functional. A lot of it is empty. The card probably didn't record that much until it went bad. But over here, we see it's got probably, I'd say like maybe, I don't know, 10 gigs of content. 10 gigabytes of content on it. Close that up. Um, and let's say we wanted to explore the partition. The uh, DCIM folder is 15 gigs. Well, it's close enough. 15 gigs, not 10. Now it's just uh, preferably we we'll clone uh, the card and uh, extract data from the image once it's ready. But this is all that it takes to get the content out. So if your action camera or any other camera for that matter ended up in an ocean, sea, a lake or something that has uh, water in it and it got uh, soaked, uh, try to rinse it out with alcohol right away if you can but if it's too late and the card is no longer operational and you want your content back you can check the link in the description all of our info is there we'll be more than happy to help you out uh, for those of you who are new to the channel as always sign up subscribe hit the notification button to get notified the next time video drops don't forget to hit like leave a comment down below uh, how is your uh, day going and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.